This is an exciting and highly anticipated video and I'm super excited to put this together. In this video, we're going to talk about lead generation. When you master this, your business will grow and you'll become rich. And if you don't, you fail. It's that simple. Leads will generate to prospects. Prospects become customers and customers will pay and will grow the business. And this is where a lot of us might be failing and or not starting because I see lead generation to be a fearful factor for some. For example, you could be an amazing cleaner who really wants to start your cleaning business but you're like dude if I started where I'm gonna get customers or maybe you already took that crucial detrimental step and have started your cleaning company but you just quickly realized that the phone is not ringing the leads are not coming in and existing customers that you have already fading out so remember whether you are about to get customers or whether you have customers there's a churn rate which means the customers will turn out like meaning opt out there are things we can control and things we can't control. For example, bad service, no time, no shows, wrong billing, etc. right? Those are the things that we can control that are within our control, but the business might go out of business. The person might sell it. Another company may take over the business or they might completely cut out and bring the in-house cleaning services. Those are the things we can control. So the goal is for any business owner is to be accumulating more customers than we losing. And this is when we grow. The only formula to grow a business to keep adding customers, to keep adding customers, you need leads. So this is exactly what we're going to talk and drill into on this video. Buckle up. If you like content like this, like, share, and subscribe, bring in your friends and family. Leverage your minority business mindset, leverage your connections and cleaners, and then promise you this industry is amazing. There's enough wealth for everyone. We don't even have to compete for each other's businesses because the industry is growing. It is a recession proof. COVID proved us because this cleaning industry was essential. I started my cleaning company in 2009. This is when 2008, 2009 recession happened. So which means the cleaning industry is recession proof. And I was stuck for three and a half months unable to come here to america when i went to visit my parents in uzbekistan and this is when pandemic happened thanks to my team they held the fort until i came back and after that the business did well we had to pivot and etc but it is a covid or pandemic proof business as well so regardless of the times, there's always work for you. The key is to know how to get them. And this is exactly what we're going to talk. So lead generation is an essential skill that any business owner must know, in my opinion. If you haven't watched my video about one essential skill that the business owner should know, then go and watch that. So diving into the leads, we have two ways to generate leads for cleaning companies. But in general, it is the two ways to generate leads all over. So we're gonna put it on here in a left hand column that's it outbound which is a push marketing i call it so that is when we push our services on somebody interrupt their day by casting the widest net possible in hopes to bring in the most of the leads and the client is currently not looking for our services the timing might be perfect but once in a thousand for example overall we're pushing our services we're casting the wide net so we can get as much fish as we can and the second one the marketing strategy that i prefer that's in pool marketing when we pool this is the inbound so if this is outbound push marketing then we've got inbound pool marketing on the right hand side and this is what i like for any company to be extremely successful then you have to do them both some people are better at the cold outreach some are better at the pool warm outreach and we're gonna go through them in just a bit and dive into each strategy what i prefer is this and in the end i'll tell you how i started so i grew my company to what it is now a million dollars plus in annual recurring revenue so called outreach push marketing takes special type of personality because as i mentioned we are interrupting somebody else's day we're going in and saying hey listen i'm the one who's providing these services are you interested so if the timing is right and they're frustrated or their mindset to hire a cleaning company then yes but your outreach is bigger in pool you look and attract those that are looking for your services or they in pain and they need your services so the strategy for cold outreach could be one of them is a cold calling which is very popular technique even before we talk about this if you remember before the media before the phones before the newsletters all that marketing channels before they existed how did we exchange the information we used to tell one another which means word of the mouth is the strongest so great service is good and that is the word of the mouth and all these other outlets try to mimic it 
and right now search engine optimization might be the best but then ai is coming up so something else will come up so going back to cold calling that takes a special personality because we get so many no's that is insane and some people are rude because they're not expecting for your phone call you just call and you're like hey this is such and so and let me know if you'd like one of the scripts i'm not really good at it but there's some scripts that i have practiced in the past and some were more effective than the others but basically you're introducing what you do opening hook grab their attention and then it's numbers game and one of the things actually to make this more better is to purchase a legit good lead of the companies that possibly might be interested in your services as opposed to doing a manual research yes manual research of the companies that are around you is good but then you have to look up their contact information then you have to look up the person then you have to look up the phone you're going to waste a lot of time the intent should be like pick up a phone call in a perfect world you'd even put that auto dialer so it's automatically calling the leads that you're feeding once the other side picks up then you pick up and start talking so the closing ratio unfortunately is not good there it's about two percent give or take so out of 100 phone calls that you make expect about two percent the next is called email or spamming which is again you can manually research the emails which will take a lot of time but in a perfect world you buy it at least again and then you will email them about one percent closing ratio and that is still not as effective because most of them will spam you will unsubscribe and etc and the more customers marking you as spam then your campaign service will block you then you have to unblock so the whole thing takes time and energy but it can be effective so can the cold calling for example cold calling can also be outsourced if this is not your type of personality to pick up a phone and call then outsource one of my friends in chicago running a successful company company and this is how he was able to grow it because he didn't have the knowledge that I have how to pull market and he didn't have the team so he emphasized the outreach and he teamed up with an amazing service that does the cold calling for him brings the leads and when he needs the leads he opens it when he wants to stop and service and get things under control he kind of pauses it and then restarts again same thing with email too. lead generation companies if you're a cleaning company you probably heard of individual unique uh, specialized lead generation services you give them a frequency the zone what type of service you're looking for etc and then they charge you per lead they charge about fifty dollars per lead and more and that's what they do they actually do a cold outreach for those avatars that fit your criteria business but they also do the web auto form submissions so they go to their web forms and auto fill and then we'll feed you the leads but email lead generation is amazing strategy as well you just have to know how to work it and ai can actually help you with the drip emails nowadays if you haven't watched the video where i explain how to use chat gpt or ai for your cleaning business go and watch it after this video because it is amazing video as well so think about two percent for cold calling and about one percent for the emails so the next strategy is door to door that takes like really really type of special personality right because you're now walking knocking the door someone is opening and then you're telling them what you do and if they're interested then you get their information and etc the closing ratio with door to door is a little higher it's two to three percent mostly because you talk to people but here's a challenge that's happening one of the strategies that we tried recently we went with door hangers so you put like a door hangers on the doors and then you knock in hopes if somebody will open up so most of the people due to covid are we know now working from home but what also COVID did is the smart cameras, like the ring cameras, etc., the doorbells. And then they look at you and they're like, why are you here? So you're not even seeing the person. So there is no connection. And it's easy for people to say, nope, I'm not interested and hang up. And now you're wasting so much time because from one door, you have to go to another door. If it's an apartment complex, it's good. If it's a townhouse, it's a little better. If it's a single family, then you're just walking and getting in a car. So door to door, not only a fear of a rejection, but also also efficiency and efficacy is going down with door to doors so if you'd like to do any of those cold call cold email outreach or door to door especially door to door and cold call then i suggest you pick up a book it's called go for no and then read that book that book is so cool it'll change your perception and mind let me know if you'd like me to put a video about the go for no book and its core principles so you don't have to look and read the book itself because then i can just digest it for you but if you are more into reading 
then go pick up the book and you're going to enjoy it. It's one of the life changers. So after that, we've got a direct mail, which is you pay a company for a lead, for a design, you pay a designer. Again, it's the same message and etc. And remember, the more we are evolving in our marketing efforts, the more touches are needed for a person to pick up a phone and just call you. For example, the touches are how many times they hear and see you, you or your name. So a cold call could be one touch and direct mail could be another one, door to door could be another one, they might see your banner, etc. So those could be the touches. So the more touches the people have, then you stay on top of their mind. And then when they need the cleaning service, the hope is they'll pick up the phone and call you. So direct mail would be the next one. Direct mail gets expensive and it takes quite a bit of coordination. So A, you're paying a stamp fee, whatever the postage fee is, plus you're paying a print fee, a design fee, a lead fee, and for someone to do it and send it in the mail. And then one time will most likely be not as effective because we've done it. So you need to do two, three mails so they can see your name constantly and know you in that neighborhood and you're servicing it so I can pick up the phone and call you. So direct mail can be costly and takes coordination between different vendors. If you'd like to do it all yourself, then it'll take time and skill set. For example, I didn't have it. So therefore, for me, it was easier to set it out. But the designer did the design for me who I had found from Upwork. A content was written by a content writer. Then the print company was allocated and found and then they found and mailed and etc. So that's one of the other methods in the outbound marketing, which is the push marketing. So another one that comes to my head is the event sponsorships. When you go to a networking event and you sponsor them. And again, the intent is there's a lot of people and you're casting the wide net in hopes to catch many because not necessarily they're looking. It's, it could be a trade show, a chamber of commerce event, etc. that you're sponsoring, but they may not be looking for your service. Again, if they see you more, then you're in their mind. As I mentioned, for me, inbound marketing, and we'll get to it, was more effective. But the company that figures out both is going to scale tremendously. And if that is you, the business owner, then more power to you. Let us know what sales and marketing lead generation technique worked best for you. One of those that we didn't mention yet is the billboards. Billboards are expensive. A lot of people do. And there's a crazy different research. So there's no particular research that can solidify the return ratio from your billboard because it's how busy the street is how many people see it how many people call you how do you pinpoint that they call from this because they can say oh i saw your name somewhere else so there could be quite a few other things that might be confusing but billboards are expensive and then harder to keep track but if your company is growing and you have billboards in the city where you service or in the state then more power to you event sponsorships are the same thing as well sponsoring events can get expensive but at least it'll let you talk to a lot of people and you have your billboard you have marketing collateral and you can do the raffles and this is how you can capture people's emails and then put them in your email list so the whole sales and marketing is a vast beast and once you crack that formula your lead flow will become insane effective right then you will figure out how to keep closing them and you figure out how to keep delivering good service keep extracting references so you will grow really really well chcho networking events and then another one could be the tv radio advertisements again they're expensive it's the same thing you're casting a wide net you don't know who's listening if you're creating a tv commercial then now you have to pay the actors i mean you don't have to if you can act yourself but somebody has to edit it the script needs to a narrative should be there for the video itself a call to action and then the way to generate their leads a landing page for them once they come in or how like people should be trained same thing with tv and radio ads as well you're paying somebody to create a content unless you're creating yourself then somebody to voice over it edit it put a little background run it and then you're paying per run so these eight strategies are pretty much the essential course there could be other ones as well but these are the essential ones and if you want me to dive in a little deeper in any one of them in a specific video let me know now we can talk about my favorite strategy which is inbound lead generation and that's what i love you guys excited let's get into my favorite part subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on another video that will help you to grow your cleaning company so content strategy and content marketing is the biggest one for inbound for me people might put something else for them but for me it comes to content marketing and before we dive in into this inbound is now a different type of strategy so for example i am not 
Like I really don't like the feeling of being turned down. Have I done door to door? Yes. Have I enjoyed it? No. Have I tried cold calling? I tried. Have I enjoyed it? Nope. I did not enjoy it. I just don't like it. And in my opinion, it's a lot of waste. And I've even had a cleaning companies that outside calling company that I had hired in the past and they weren't vetting the prospects properly, just setting up appointments and I would go to an appointment. And now because the prospect doesn't have an actual problem in their hands and they're just taking a phone call because they like the guy on the other line they're like so why are you here you know what's up tell me and they would not even be interested like they would try to cut the conversation short and etc then it was not only i was paying a outbound company to do those phone calls but even when i would do the walkthrough it would be just a total waste of time for me because the guy is trying to just brush me off and then why did i drive going back etc so it didn't work for me therefore inbound is what i prefer is a you become a mastermind if you think about it and now you're creating this funnel which will get the people from the top of the funnel and they keep coming down keep coming down to your desired outcome and you find those people in your area that are looking for your service and it is painful if they don't solve it which means now they are picking up the phone they're happy to see you they respond to your emails to your phone calls they're excited for the walkthrough and they need to make a decision and solve their existing problem so they can focus on something else because the pain is legit whenever you do this even if you hire this outbound company to do any kind Enough. your goal is to set the proper expectations so that the lead generator knows that the companies they're feeding for you are those whose problem is real and it's now so they might not have a problem then you're just wasting your time just giving them proposal doing the walkthrough and trying to convert them for customers or maybe it's not now maybe they like going by and that's okay and they're just getting a second quote to price so those would end up being a waste of time now let's finally dive in into inbound content marketing search engine optimization which is seo which is amazing youtube marketing which is great too social media posts that we just go including the video posts webinars when you educate your prospect and give them something so they come into you when the pain is real articles that you submit to different websites white paper case studies and then podcasts that you go into and educate your audience so they come into you when they're ready again pain must be real and the problem needs to be solved now and then now you're solving it for them if you haven't watched the video where i made 350 dollars in 30 minutes is go and watch that video because then you will see that when the problem is real people will pay you what you're worth you don't have to work as much assuming you're delegating the tasks and then they'll still tell you thank you then you have a chance to go out with them for lunch and they can even give you more projects down the road so seo is like everything that i outlined is a beast on its own right search engine optimization is this is one of the strategies that we've leveraged and i've seen a lot of return on my investment in time but that's the slowest one as well same with the youtube content strategy video editing and it does not have to be too fancy you can just do most of it with your phone and edit it on your phone as well and content if you need a narration now you can use ai and etc to give you a content if you need to learn how to speak better go to a local speaking toastmasters etc and improve your storytelling as well youtube is the separate thing webinars they need to be aligned but again all of those are so effective because yes you will get here let's say you have 100 people in interested but you only get one or two but here you only have 10 and you might be able to get five and you put out a lot less intent and most of the stuff is automated because here you have to be calling calling or knocking 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 door all the time and here you have the funnels you activate deactivate the funnels and you work on them of course but mostly they're on autopilot when you sleep and then the leads come in and they're pre-qualified for you so this is what i love about the inbound online reviews is one of the other things that many cleaners might neglect because we're busy right we're like solopreneurs solo cleaners and we are super busy we try to do everything ourselves invoice collect the payment go get the customer happy redo the cleaning do the groceries change the diapers for our kids and etc so i totally understand but encourage your customers to leave the reviews statistics shows that about 89 people won't take an action unless they see a review for a company so the more reviews you have is good but it's also good for google's algorithm now when you go to google local which is google maps and search for let's say cleaning services near me they'll prioritize those cleaning companies that have better reviews because google logic is if more people are saying this company is good then i have to be serving this company for many more other people because people come 
for Google to search and Google needs to improve their ranking so people keep coming so it creates this circle. The company has most reviews will get most of the leads from the Google Maps and then most of the projects they will get more happier customers they'll get even more reviews and Google will put them more again. So therefore don't underestimate the power of reviews. Reviews are really really cool. So far we talked about reviews and then the content marketing which could be done by you for free basically assuming you know the knowledge if not Fiverr Upwork you just find a freelancer and these are slow so meaning they take time search engine optimization for you to start seeing results like prepare three to six months right if a company comes and says hey dude pay me let's say a thousand dollars a month and i'll put you on a first web page in a month then it's a red flag right it sounds too good so all that takes time so you do need to make sure that you're patient enough but you can do those things as well yourself the other one which is like on and off switch kind of like cold calling what i mentioned about a friend of mine who can put them on and off is a ppc which stands for paid per click advertising or paid per click campaigns and they could be for bing for google which is most effective for yelp and other services because they're like plethora of those lead generation right ngs list and etc you can buy the leads i don't prefer ngs list quite frankly yelp was so so for me as well we got the most is from of the google adwords and then bing as well what this requires is not only you should be able to filter out the negative words that you don't want for example for me negative words are cheap affordable inexpensive so if somebody searches with those keywords then we are not even popping for the professional experience peace of mind etc we show up and then the region and then the hours when you want and then when this person comes into your website you should have an amazing funnel because ppc is just to have them click on it so you pay per click that's what it stands for ppc once they click they land on a landing page so your landing page must be amazing too it should want them to take an action without them you might just lose them you just pay for somebody for clicks and it had happened for me in the past and then the landing page takes the design takes the psychology knowing approach a content creation a funnel like content creation a call to action a giveaway which is really good for your customer and then the form and etc and it all has to be lined out and, and look elegant and really nice and educational and then ppc itself takes a skill for example i pay for someone else to do the campaign management for us and when i tried to do it myself i was spending a lot more money so it was more cheaper and effective for me to pay someone to do the paid campaign management for me because the money they would save and the quality of leads they would bring would overweight the money I pay them so therefore on a month to month contract I am working with this team for like years now and it's amazing the good news about it let's say I have a salesperson and we get too busy and I can call them and ask them please stop it you just pause your campaign or I bring in the new person and I train and we need more leads and we're in a growth mode then I tell them please reactivate and max it or put more areas more dollars amount and we now have more leads coming in and it works kind of like a crane right a water valve turn it on comes on turn it off if it is orchestrated and created properly everything has to work with one another one more thing that i'd like to mention on this inbound is the email list which is a nurturing email so that's your existing customers or giveaways which i also call ethical bribes for example when somebody comes to your website and or hears about you or just want to stay in touch with you you want to give them something like an ebook for example an online course a something so they give their email for you and the name but email is what you need and then you nurture them it's a drip campaign and these can be very effective you can either use a freelancer to do it but you're normally going to use a mail hosting server which is a campaign creator and their platter of them we use zoho campaigns some people use mailchimp and some say it's great some are not i mean they are very effective and big company so the email drip campaign a sequence of emails providing an exit out of your system because you don't want to be spamming them so they like mark you as spam and then call to actions and subtle reminders like hey i'm here if you need it but here's the information hey i'm here if you need it here's a promotion take an action now so email drip campaigns are effective unlike the cold emails that were here on the outbound of push marketing here you're just literally emailing everyone because you bought the list here on the warm is different they know they got something from you they expect for your email they they marked your emails not spam and now you nurture 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 them and it could be like 
first time they get something from you and you incentivize to get another service from you once they have a service from you you stay on top of their mind and then you say hey you know this is what happened here's the useful information by the way we're running a promotion so you try to bring them back and etc so that's the email marketing another point that i'd like to bring up in this video about the email marketing which is going to become extremely important for any business owner whether you start your company or not cleaning company in this case is ai so i'm just putting ai in a separate bucket because it's going to be mind-blowing if you haven't watched my video how to leverage your ai specifically chat gpt which is free go watch it so ai can create so much stuff it can be creating a chat for you a drip emails a content creation and etc and i'm just putting it in a separate basket because we just don't know all the capabilities of ai yet but leverage that as well because automatically for example when people go on your website they are likely to interact with you if the chat comes up right because you don't have their information they haven't filled out anything for example zoho sales iq knows when a person comes in what pages the person is clicking in and then you can set the different rules and trigger them it's like hey i see you're visiting my commercial cleaning page how can i help and then you can address them and there's a person and when the interaction happens it's easier to convert those people so therefore do not underestimate and try to stay ahead of the curve one statistic to bring up inbound and outbound so inbound costs about 61 percent less than the outbound so the cost was when the study is done inbound needs to be orchestrated properly outbound you just pick up but then it takes a special personality and skill and etc well i know this was a little longer video we discussed the outbound and we discussed the inbound advantages and disadvantages of each figure out what works best for you if i didn't mention a strategy and i forgot about it then please share it so the other people can see it as well go check out my other video where i talk about the previous videos that i mentioned or click on this video and I can't wait to see you right there. Bye for now.